Hi, it's Kika Kristen, and today I'm going to be showing you how to become Wonder Woman. After doing my foundation, bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm going into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette into the shade Sandalwood. I'm applying that with this blending brush into my crease. Next, I'm dipping into the shade Henna and applying that in my crease as well to add more depth. Taking my finger, I'm dipping into the shade 24K and applying that to my eyelid up to my crease. To smoke up my bottom lash line, I'm dipping into sandalwood again with the small tapered brush by Morphe Brushes. Then I'm going into henna and smoking that out on my bottom lash line as well. I'm taking that same color onto my blending brush and working that into my crease again. I forgot to do this, but go ahead and highlight your inner corners with the white or gold highlighter. You could ignore this step because I go over it later with white liquid liner, but I'm going over my waterline with NYX's white jumbo eye pencil. Since I didn't have black eyeliner, I'm going into my Mayron face paint palette into the shade black. I'm applying that with this eyeliner pencil from MAC. I usually like to start in the middle, then go back to the front all the way to the inner corners. Then for the wing, I like to angle it towards the end of my eyebrow. Next, I'm cutting my crease and I'm going in small segments to get that perfect cut. If you have a hooded lid like me, you want to go maybe a quarter inch above your double lid. Basically, you want the line to show when your eyes are open, so it helps to do this when your eyes are open, looking straight ahead. To make my eyes appear even larger, I'm using NYX's white liquid liner into my waterline, going all the way to my inner corners. Going back into my black face paint, I'm using my eyeliner pencil and outlining my new waterline. If you have black liquid liner, you can use that too. I just didn't have mine on me, so I was using the black face paint. Next, I'm outlining the second half of my brow and filling that in. Then for the front of my brows, I'm flicking the brush upward to create little hairs. I'm taking my white liquid liner again and highlighting my brow bones. Now I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with some mascara. Now for the fun part, I'm dipping into that black face paint again with my eyeliner pencil brush and outlining my nose, cupid's bow, cheekbones, jaw, chin, neck, and collarbones. For the headpiece, I'm going into my Mayron face paint palette again into the shade Gold, and I'm applying that with this flat brush by Morphe Brushes. After figuring out that shape and filling that in, I'm outlining that with black face paint.
With just a little bit of water on my flat brush, I'm blending out those two colors and then creating the shadows on my gold headpiece. Now I'm just going back with my white liquid liner and adding some more highlights. For my little bustier and star on my headpiece, I'm going into the shade Beachberry from my Mayron face paint palette. For lipstick, I'm using ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Satin Lipstick in the shade Lost. For the finishing touches, I'm outlining the bustier and my lips with black paint. After outlining my lips, I'm blending out the black with just some water on my brush. And then going in with some highlights. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. This is the third time that I filmed this look and I'm finally happy about how this came out. So I hope you guys liked it too. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. If you guys recreate this look, please tag and hashtag Cake of Kristen in your pictures or videos. I really want to see how your artwork came out. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!